But in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 1, the scripture says that we offer our body as a living sacrifice which is pure and which is pleasing to him. So let us please be God. Let us offer our body in worshiping God, in praising God, because there is power in worshiping God. There is power in praising God. And everyone who is praising God and worshiping God, remember, prayers is the key. Prayers is the key because during the prayers, within the prayers, there is power. Allow Jesus to be this strong in your heart and allow Jesus Christ to take part in your prayer because you will be very powerful man of God when you keep these two things, prayer at the throne of God in your life. Prayer at the throne of God in your life. Your life. Remember, the only thing you can do so that you can overcome the one you overcome the devil is through prayer and allowing Jesus to put his throne in your heart. Remember, servant of God, Jesus is our Lord and is our Savior. He is very great and very wonderful and he understands he understand everything here because when he speaks, the earth obey. So, he rebuked the tree and the tree withered. So, everything he spoke, it, it was obeying the Lord. So, remember, when the Lord speaks, everything obeys. So when the Lord speak in your life, the Lord speak in your job, the Lord speak in your family, everything obeys. Remember, there is nothing impossible before God. Remember God. God is our everything. Is our life. Is our everything. Nothing is compared to Him. Remove the car. Remove the mansion. Remove everything here on earth. Nothing can be compared by our Lord. He is the source of everything. He is the reason why you are alive. He is the reason why you are working. He is the reason why you are there in that country. You are there in your country. You are there. With peace he is the reason. And he has a purpose for you. So the moment you know the will of God, now he will use you as a person. Because as you are servant of God, that's why we are coming to you. Because the scriptures say, no one can have faith without hearing the message of Christ. In the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17, no one can have faith without hearing the message of Christ. When you hear the message of Christ, you build your faith. Because faith is a gift. And then salvation is a gift. So, remember Jesus Christ. Accept Jesus Christ. Come back to Jesus Christ. Leave your old ways and come to Jesus Christ. He is our comforter. He is the source. Remember, when you stop sin and do what is right, that is repentance. By practical, you practice by your action. You will, you will see the fruit of your action. Remember, God is care for those who worship Him and please Him. He doesn't care the strength of forces. He doesn't care the powerful armies. He cares only for those who worship Him and please Him. Now Jesus is care for us because we worship Him. So imagine we are special in the eyes of the Lord. Wherever you are, any challenge you are undergoing through, Remember, Lord, and he will, he will exalt you from the dust to the higher places. To the higher places. Follow the will of God and through prayers and fasting, the Lord will lead you high, 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 high. And as I repeat, the Lord will lead you high, high, high. Remember, Lord, Jesus is our Lord.